crazy easy. Crazy easy. My name is Moxie and I'm a natal felting artist. Um, I sculpt with wool and I've been doing it for six or seven years now and uh, the good people at Skazelle have invited me to play with the Adiquick, which I have been calling the amazing robotic felting machine because it's really fast. Um, much faster than the tiny pokes that I make every day. Um, so we're going to play with it a little bit and show you how it works. Um, I've been making lots of things, small and large, for several years. This is one of the sculptures that I did several years ago. It's my first like serious big thing that I've made. It's three pounds of solid wool. Um, it took a lot of time, probably a lot less time, using uh, an Addy Quick, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, it's a Fisher Price dog, in case you weren't sure. Um, I can also show you this. This is a punch clock that I'm making for a piece that's going to be in the Bellevue Art Museum's uh, biennial. It's all fiber artists. Um, it doesn't have hands for a reason. Um, and I'm really excited to be a part of that show. And then, I've also been told to share my book with you. I wrote this for you. It's called I Felt Awesome. And it has 35 projects in it, including um, lots of basic techniques, because I'm a big fan of teaching people how to do this, um, sort of like evangelical style. Um, I want to spread the good news about needle felting. And uh, so I taught the basic techniques, how to build sculptures, but also how to make felt from scratch and how to embellish. And from there, you can just make anything that comes into your imagination. So having seen this tool now, and I know you've been felting how many years? Uh, six or seven, I think. Wow. Okay. Um, does it give you ideas to do different things at all? Well, does part of the, yes. <laughs> part of the thing that I like to do is um, I'm just driven to make wool do impossible things. I like to go large and dense, and it's all by hand. Yes. There's the yes. dog. I, the dog, I know. This um, dog is amazing. Thank you. That's, that's three He's pounds so of heavy. solid wool. I know. He's just like... So <laughs> while... It will, it's a time saver in the sense that building that bulk would take less time. For me, that just makes me want to go to the next level of what my dreams are. So, you know, given the opportunity, you know, life-size Easter Island, something like that. <laughs> and, Why don't we uh, start with life-size, like, baby elephant first? <laughs> that'd be fun. <laughs> or maybe just a full-size tracker if we really want to go for it. Ooh. Yeah, I have dreams. So... Yeah, it, it inspires me to push a little a little further for the future times, and it, it it's fun to use. This is magic in um, in terms of the um, embellishment. It just it's so it's like it feels like you're painting. And do you think for people who are just starting out? It's a good tool to use, or do you think it's better to start with just a single needle and start out, or do you think this is just fine to start out with this? You know, honestly, I think that depends on your learning style. I think it's less about the mechanics of it or the pokiness of it, yeah. and more about how you learn um, and how in control or how how safe you feel using it. I think it's super easy for mm -hmm. an adult, I would say, to yeah. use. Um, what, what qualifies as an adult? Um... Someone, some probably over <laughs> fourteen. I mean, You're really say forty. <laughs> no, I, really, I know I really haven't gotten there myself, uh, adult-wise. But Ooh, I no, I think it's really all about whether you can remember to watch your hands and yeah. remember to be safe. Mm -hmm. And that can, you know, you can teach a sixty-year-old who doesn't know how to do that. But so over we, thirteen, I think, is probably an adult in that way. you have written this wonderful book which I absolutely adore because Moxie's subject manners 
the objects that she actually chooses to felt are just um, so intriguing. Um, little bombs, cigarette pillows, a faux potato head. Um, it, it, it's not your typical felting book that has your doggy and your pig with wings and things like that. Although it does have a bunny, but the bunny's head wobbles. So uh, where do you get your inspiration to write such a unique and interesting book? Um, I think I have a weird sense of humor. Um, I, I, it was my intention to, to write a book that would be super informative and have lots of the basic techniques, but then also be fun to browse or even read if you never wanted to pick up a needle. Mm -hmm. um, and this is sort of the product of my brain. I, 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 was, I grew up on the Muppets and a certain amount of chaos and I think that those things sort of make the world a playground and I, I like to laugh and surprise people and one way to do that is, I don't know, felt a billiard, billiard balls. <laughs> Now, is this is this book available? Do you sell it online? Or? Yes, you can okay. get it from me, but you can get it on Amazon. You can get it, um, I'm sure, a lot of other places online. And then I believe it's also in most major bookstores. And what is your website? My um, my artist website is madebymoxie.com. I've always used the metaphor that you know, you're sculpting with wool instead of with clay. And when I was using that day when I was trying it out, yeah. it really, that metaphor was strong for me because once you build a certain amount of thickness, you're really able to manipulate it smoothly. It, it smooshes into where you want it to go and it feels different in your hand than it does when you're just poking with one needle. Right. Um, but then when you're doing the embellishments, it feels like you're painting it on because, again, it's just really a smooth action. and It's really satisfying. And I think the reason it, it's so smooth is because this needle actually comes in and out 2,500 times a minute. I mean, it's that's crazy. A, yeah, it is crazy. Um, did you have any fear of the tool at first? Um, I wondered at first, and I, I wondered especially for people who may have never needle felted at all what right. it would be like. But um, it's actually safer in a certain way. I rarely poke myself. Um, I'm pretty good about my little, uh, you know, always watch your hands is yeah. really the 90% rule. But um, because you have control over where it's going, mm -hmm. if, you're, if, if you're careful, when you're, when you're poking this way, sort of like a hammer, it's not hard to come down in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. And so that can be less predictable where with the Adiquick, you're, you're pushing it, and so you always know where your hand is going. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always chance. But um, I felt it, it was safer. It was easier in that sense. Now, I noticed, um, how, did, how were you holding it? Well, you most of the time, I'm holding like it this pen. way. Like a pen. Yeah. Okay. And so then you use your index finger to turn it on and Yeah, off. super easy. Yeah.
<laughs> I love you.